The Northern Asia Pacific Division is the most densely populated division in the world with nearly 1.5 billion people. This division is made up of six countries, China, Japan, Mongolia, North Korea, South Korea, and Taiwan. Despite considerable growth over the past decade, the Adventist Church in Northern Asia still faces many challenges. Not only do rivers and seas draw borders between most of Northern Asia's countries, but each country has its own unique language, traditions, and culture. Many Adventist believers have little contact outside their own language and culture group. This quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help provide the Adventist Church in Northern Asia with some vital tools needed to lead others to Jesus and to strengthen believers in these countries. Japan is a modern, secular society. More than 80% of the population claims no personal religion, though most Japanese follow Buddhist or Shinto traditions, including ancestor worship. Only about 1.5% of the population claim to be Christian. It has been more than a century since the first Seventh-day Adventists arrived in Japan, carrying the message of hope in Jesus. At first, the work went well, but during World War II, the government forbade foreign religions, greatly hindering the work of the church. Today, some 15,000 Adventists worship in this country among a population of 127 million people. That means there is only one Adventist for every 8,460 people, making Japan second only to North Korea as the least evangelized country in Northern Asia. The Adventist Church in Japan struggles to grow in this secular environment. Most Adventists are elderly and few ethnic Japanese are baptized each year. Several years ago, Seventh-day Adventist leaders in Northern Asia started a pioneer mission movement, a program to send 100 pastors from countries such as South Korea, where the church is thriving, to countries such as Japan to help plant new groups of believers. Pioneer pastors such as these leave the comforts of their home country and move their families to another country within the Northern Asia Pacific Division. Often they must learn a new language in order to share the gospel in challenging circumstances. And the church is growing. Over the past three years, pioneer pastors have planted or revitalized more than 28 churches in Japan and other countries. Growth is also happening among non-Japanese speakers in Japan, particularly the Brazilian and Peruvian guest workers living there. Two Korean congregations and several English-speaking congregations also are blooming. But the largest ethnic minority in Japan, the Mandarin Chinese-speaking people, are virtually unreached. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help establish a Chinese-language Adventist church in downtown Tokyo. Mongolia is a landlocked country in Northern Asia, sandwiched between Russia and China. This country of 2.7 million people depends largely on agriculture and herding for its economic development. Farmers here raise a variety of crops including wheat, barley, vegetables, and livestock, such as sheep, goats, cattle, camels, and horses. This hard-to-reach country, both physically and spiritually, did not have any Adventists until 1991, when Adventist frontier missionaries Brad and Kathy Jolly moved to Mongolia following the fall of 70 years of atheistic communist rule. During that period, Mongolia was completely shut off to any religion. Mongols lost touch with their religious roots and today a majority of young adults are atheists. Less than 2% of the population is Christian. Some of the older generation has reconnected with their Buddhist roots and a few have become Christians. Most new Adventists are under the age of 30. Mongolian culture discourages young people from teaching their elders, including influencing change in their religious beliefs. 
As a result, one of the great challenges of the Adventist Church is the young people's reluctance to share their love for Christ with their parents and grandparents. In 1993, the first two Mongolians were baptized. Four years later, the Mongolian mission field was officially organized as part of the Northern Asia Pacific Division. The Adventist Church in Mongolia has doubled in size during the last three years. The work, however, is still young and needs our prayers. There are only 10 Adventist churches and some 1,200 members in all of Mongolia. Some 250 of these Mongolian Adventists study at universities in the capital city of Ulaanbaatar. If they cannot afford to live in the university's dormitory, they must find other accommodations, often with family members of friends. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will provide an Adventist dormitory where these students can live together while they study. Special leadership training classes will help these young people grow spiritually and prepare them to become tomorrow's church leaders. Steep mountains and lush tropical vegetation inspired 16th century Portuguese sailors to name Taiwan Formosa, or Beautiful Island. Today, some 5,200 Adventists call this land, some 75 miles off the southeast coast of China, home. Most Adventist members in this country of 23 million people come from tribes who live primarily in the hill country. The majority Han Chinese live in urban areas such as Taipei. Only one in every 25,000 people in Taiwan is a Seventh-day Adventist. Nearly one billion people, including the Han of Taiwan, speak Mandarin Chinese in Northern Asia. Yet relatively little Adventist media programming has been prepared for this vast audience. The China Union Mission has taken on the task of translating select existing television programs and preparing new programs in the Mandarin language. They've leased time on satellite, begun translation and production of programs, and are working to make the programming available 24 hours a day on the Internet. Part of the 13th Sabbath offering will help fund this endeavor to bring God's love to Mandarin-speaking people in Asia and throughout the world. Thank you for doing your part this 13th Sabbath to share God's love with our family members in the Northern Asia Pacific Division. And thank you for supporting the weekly mission offering which funds outreach work throughout the world field. To learn more about the Adventist Church's worldwide mission work, please visit AdventistMission.org.